Today's regular scheduled RimWorld Blood Empire episode is interrupted briefly by a lesson in critical thinking. Fact number one, I have 7,000 hours in RimWorld. Fact number two, there is a clear resource readout on the left-hand side of the screen, which you can see all of my resources. Fact number three, I play for multiple hours a day and edit it down into 30 minutes, and you Zoomers have a detention span of about 30 seconds. I therefore cannot leave every minor piece of information in the videos. Deep drilling! Strange, you say you need power, but you're not building water mills. Oh, that's a great point. Sorry, I forgot that we could build water mill generators after I pointed out last episode. Let's place those down. Oh, wait, we appear to not have the resources necessary. Let me just go and uh, chop some trees down. Oh, wait, there are no new trees found in the area, which I can chop down for wood. Very strange. It's almost like I might have tried that. He's complaining about the fact that he has no hemogen, yet he keeps building blood braziers, which are refueled with wood. They're refueled with wood. They're not refueled with hemogen. You need one hemogen bottle to build one brazier. You don't refuel them with hemogen. Oh, and what about smelting all of the weapons down, huh? You set a... Oh, except you've gone through and changed all the weapons so that you aren't smelting absolutely everything down. Granted, probably more than I should be smelting down. However, we lack the resources to do anything right now. It's almost as if there was a bug with simple sidearms and single characters were hoarding all of the weapons to themselves. What do you want from me? We well, want 30 minutes of me going through every menu. Oh, today we're going to do outfit management for 45 minutes. Or I can edit that out of the episodes. All of you just sit patiently for 15 minutes while I sit here and go through every weapon in the game. 7,000 hours, by the way. I know what I'm doing. I don't sit here and go through every menu and fight every battle at speed one and exclusively plan every single action because it's boring. It's boring for you. It's boring for me. And fuck you as well, cops. You hat wearing piece of shit. What are we doing? What's happening? Day in RimWorld. Hemo Sage. We gotta be waiting on a lot of resources before I can build up the, uh, the Hemogen Network, the Hemogen Tanks, the Hemogen Taps, the Hemogen Pumps. But what better way to pass the time than with horrific, distinctly not necessarily evil Psy powers, but certainly very concerning. Because, you know, we have an image issue right now. I will admit, not many good guys have used a power called Blood Spew. <laughs> so, my friend Anne. My good friend, Anne. I'm going to leave this in, just in case anybody thinks, oh, you've got to set them to meditate. We're going to set Anne to meditate all day, every day. Meditation counts as recreation. That's your RimWorld tip for today, my friends. Why are you sleeping in there? What is wrong with you? Why aren't you sleeping in the fancy room, you strange lady? Now I know what you're thinking, Rim Rims. We're now waiting for not only resources to be delivered, but also for Anne to sit around and meditate. So to avoid a weapon catastrophe, again, we're going to expand and organize the stockpile. I can't even see the stockpile. It's that dark on my screen, but you'll be able to see it on your side of things because I've increased the brightness in OBS. Hello? Is there anybody in there? It's so dark. All I can see is a slight face. Got any games on your phone? No, so I think the plan is very straightforward, Rimroms. We are going to... I think my original idea, right, of, of making this half, maybe for the crafter people, this half for the... No, I want a distinct basis. No, change of plan. I've changed my mind immediately. We're going back to the drawing board. Where do I want the crafter people to live? I think they deserve their own base, goddammit. Well, look, Mona's going to be over here. Why don't we tunnel into this mountain and build... Crafting Central. I'm thinking, in my mind, Erebor. You know, like where dwarfs live. Because I think that would look cool if we had big fancy statues. No, I'm not thinking pathetic little skinny paths. I'm thinking big fuck off uh, all, all ways to show that we are masters of the mountain. Or at least the people who live here are. Look at her go. Maybe as a, uh, I think, quite a sensible investment, we should get her a much larger, grander throne. Did finish the research for holographic projector. I'm just going to type in projector. Grand projector throne. It's 10 advanced components, 15 components, 150 plasteel, and 300 steel. It is an enormous a waste of our resources, and it doesn't line up in the middle. Oh, no, that is the middle. That's fine. We can build one of these. But it's going to be a lot of saving. By the end of today, I want a very fancy throne. Need a drugs lab. 
a drug slab would be good so that we can get the hemogen situation totally under control, even though I do think it already is. Two drain caskets going to produce four bottles a day. I don't think we're going to be drinking that much, right? Even with this many sanguophage. So, um, without further ado, sterile materials. It was not really what I was after. I had another genius idea. Genius being very questionably used there. I keep calling this a vampire empire. All we have right now is a single settlement and two other smaller settlements which are sending us silver. What if, and this is an insanity, this is an insanity idea. What if we try and build one of every single outpost? It's insane. It's total madness. But what better way could there be to celebrate eventually Empress Anne than an empire. You can't really call yourself an empress if you don't have a damn empire. Oh, well, that was fast. Sterile materials. Thank you. I'd really like... Actually, oh, I mean, a hospital bed would be good, given that we've had... Ooh. Dried, dried one has formed a bond. Oh, I thought it was the big horrible monster. Um, gene archives. Airships? Airships would be good. Then we can actually travel around a little bit more. Especially if we're going to build an empire. Someone has expanded. The undead hordes have expanded from frozen fields and founded... <laughs> It probably wasn't actually what they wanted to call it, but they're probably very cold. Probably quite hard to pronounce when your teeth are frozen together. And our first Psylink level. Show me. Do we want to go for Blood Focus? Forcibly manipulating the body stores of Hemogen, the caster can enter a state of rapid meditation, regaining Psy folks at the cost of Hemogen. Very good. However, the Hemogen costs are, are debatable right now. We need to hold on on that one. Blood Shard. Launch a small amount of excess blood as a lethal projectile by forcibly expelling Hemogen that's been solidified into a crystal crystalline structure. What the hell is even that? Oh, deserters. They're here to kill Anne and Mona. You know what? I'd like to see you try. That all hands on deck, please. Companion Dryads, join me. Oh my god, they've got beam weapons. They've got charge rifles charge rifles and then a sidearm what the hell is that thing a charge lance and then you've got a big old beam glaive oh well this is good yeah no i feel like we're very prepared for this with our pointy sticks okay okay here's the plan here's the plan evolka evolka i need you pop the door toxic cloud oh a toxic cloud outside pop the door then then you leap away with the power of your little vampire legs nice Oh, I'm so big brain. Tox gas severe. Ooh, that was fast. Wowee. Okay, and then keep keep leaping. Just keep leaping away. Yes, die. Tox gas, moderate, mild. Build up initial. Good, 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 good. We're giving ourselves a fighting chance. Get back here. Get back in the lineup. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Start blasting. Oh my god, what the hell is the range on that thing? Jesus Christ. That is lunacy. Oh my god! Okay, um, we should probably bait them back a little bit because they seem to be able to take cover, which wasn't really part of the plan. We could send in the melee characters to stop them shooting at us because let's be honest, one of these people aren't going to be able to take Mona in a in a one on one fight. Let's move out there, move up, move up, move up, move up, go go go. Okay, uh, let's get you, Lilu. I want you to jump there, and then I want you to stinky cloud them. We love the stinky cloud. We love the stinky cloud. We're gamers. Nice. And then let's jump you up there. Kill them dead. You, Mona, can't jump because she's a plant and plants don't have legs. You, however... Ah! That thing is ridiculous. That thing is ridiculous. Go, Evolka. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, Evolka's already in a bad place. I, I'm just going to keep pushing Evolka forward to do some... Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Um, it'd be like a piercing spine because those hit quite hard. Nice! I'm so big brain. I've just woken up and chosen severe intellectual violence. Get over here. We could jump the rest over. I don't think it's entirely necessary, to be honest. You could actually, like, fight these people. Execute. Execute. You might as well go for the kill. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at them. Oh, these people are amazing. Yes. Finish them, Mona. Mona, 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 Mona. Take them down. Knock them. Okay, okay. Two are down. But we've just got ourselves some power armor and some very powerful weapons, if you don't mind. Uh, strip them. You go into the camp. You go into the city. Sorry, let's not. Let's try and avoid that particular verbiage. Oh. 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 Who hasn't got any weapons now? Obviously, we can't use the beam glaive. It's a fire weapon. But this is. This is good. Have you got to worry about toxic buildup? I presume you're immune to the. Yeah, they're immune to their own. Your friendly stinks. Eulogia 
Camos, you will make for a very good crafting citizen of Anne's empire. And Xenoboro, you will also make for a very good crafting citizen of Anne's empire. 18 skill between them means that we should be able to make the crafting city. And finally, items. 292 steel. Ooh, Aku! Hello! Oh, you are immediately going to get slaughtered. Delicious, delicious food. What, what, 7,000 hours, by the way. Which interface am I clicking on? We didn't lose anything from that. You're all in good health. They are. Now, here's my plan. They're the melee characters, right? They want to fight with melee. They're good with their, they're good with their hands. I'm going to give them the dessert armor because they're also, they're also high tech. So it kind of suits them a lot. Here, can we put this helmet on as well? And then... For Lilu, I think the same thing. Let's just give it to both of them. That seems good. Anne can have the charge rifle because it's Anne and she deserves a far better weapon than a... Right, let's see. Look, this is what I'm talking about. Look, she's just uh, text them both. I don't want you to have all of them. And greedy. Hello, everybody. How are you? On today's episode of Remold, we're going to be smelting weapons. I hope you're all strapped in. So here are the weapons that I do not wish to have in my colony. Iron swords. I don't think we need those. Axes. I don't think we need those. Bearded axes. I don't think we need those. Blood ritual ships could do something than Derek, so we're going to keep those ones. Breach axes. I don't think we need those. Clubs. I don't... Do doot. Complete skeleton statue. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, I mean, those are much more appropriate for Anne's castle. We're the good guys. Those are far more appropriate for Anne's castle, though. I'm going to put one... Uh, I'm going to put that right there. Oh, that looks lovely. Now, an airship is going to be very handy for traveling around to all the various component mining sites and that type of thing. Liberating the resources because we are the good guys after all. Also for hunting down the artifacts, which really we should start on very, very soon. I'm going to re-roll these because I don't think I'm interested in any right now. Oh no, this is arguably worse. Ah, uh, smoke pot belts. Why are you doing this to me? Why is there such uh, hatred? Oh lord. <laughs> oh lord. Um, ah, is there a hole in the wall? There is not, but we have built some embrasures. Oh my god. Is this enormously large brain time? Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> I'm gonna have to disable that, aren't I? I'm gonna have to disable that. That's just not. I'm gonna have to make sure that only only the melee characters have the lassos, because that's that's not okay. Oh sweet Jesus! Okay. Whoo! Careful there. <laughs> Careful there. Let's put that on the floor where it can't harm anybody. Thank you. Somewhere, somewhere out there, a single tear is rolling down Helixian's cheek. <laughs> oh my god, and look at how many didn't rot. Oh. Oh, I am a hungry boy, and it's time to put the tasty little meaties in my mouth. Ah, very good, Utility Bots Town. 286 silver. We should rename some of those. I did write down a bunch of names from the first episode suggestions. <laughs> I am the master of food. You remember only, only two or three or four or five episodes ago when we were all starving and destitute. Let the lavish meals flow. Dude, we've already got quite a lot, to be fair. We've still got eight in storage. Oh, we don't need vegetarian. Get, get rid of that shit. Well, I suppose we'll keep it just in case we don't get... We need some lavish meal. What the fuck? <laughs> blood burrito. A burrito fashioned with blood and, of course, meat on the inside. Oh, meatloaf. You could have meat rolls instead of sweet rolls. No. Hemogenic fine meal. I, I feel like I've got to go... i kind of got to go all in on making sure that they are served only the finest of foods. Hello. How you doing? Please take a seat. Well, the waiter will be with you in a second. Sensory mechanites. I'm absolutely not complaining about. Thank you. Like, oh, even the people in the bioreactors can get it. Oh, how unfortunate. <laughs> Manipulation obviously up massively. So this is the time to really get some research going, huh? And we've already converted one of the... The prisoners. Thank you, Toomgi. I don't know why you jump over to Toomgi to tell me that. Nah, the silent level for Anne. Three points to spend. Look, let's just go. Look, obviously, we're going to try and fill the entire human sage path, right? Let's just go all three. So she can convert Hemogen to Psy Focus. She can fire off a blood shard. And she can also spew blood everywhere and make people intensely vomit. Very good for stunning people if you want to try and take them prisoner. The Petty Park can also get an expertise. What did your brother have? Harvesting. Makes perfect sense, then, that you should get... Sewing? I mean, Mona already has sewing. Mona does the sewing, the kids do the harvesting, because that gives harvest yield, which is 
probably way more important. We don't really need two people doing that, but you know what? I think that's fine. I like that. I think it's about time we start adding a little class to some of these rooms. They, they, they aren't really holding up the standards I would expect from a mighty vampiric society. Now, you may remember earlier today, we had a very small discussion about the lack of wood. I have a grand plan. It's a very basic plan. We're going to form a caravan. We're going to move directly one square over. And instead of waiting three months to trees to grow, we're going to spend 0.2 days moving one tile over to harvest trees there. Thank you. Thank you. It's big brain time. Please, God, if I see any other comments about these water wheels, 10 trees. I think we might be doing a little bit of traveling today. Ooh, neutral opes. Um, man, they're almost so valuable. I might send someone over to come and grab them. You know what? Now that I think about it, I've had enough ranching to last me a lifetime. Thank you. Hey, you know what? Kill those damn neutral opes. Hell yeah. Oh, Mona, what happened? Oh, Mona, my friend. She's fine. She's fine. She was just bitten on the head. <laughs> We've also got some more silver from Utility Bots Town, and Anne has another silent level. Amazing, fantastic, great work. She has either Closed Wounds, also known as Upsy Daisy Vampire Healer Power. Sorry, what is that? It stops wounds healing, but it does not actually heal. The word you're looking for there is coagulate. Coagulate. No, unlike the base game, coagulate power that heals. <laughs> uh, Hemodrain forcibly extracts the blood of a target at a distance and converts it to hemogen. Oh, I think that one sounds more useful, to be honest, given that we've already got kind of a healing power, right? What have we, what have we got there? Word of offering. Convinces the target to offer their blood to the caster. Can be used on visitors or even during combat. And then blood right. Creates a motive hemogen that follows the caster, acting as an amplifier for psychic sensitivity based on hemogen level. That's cool. Sanguine spear launches a spear and an explosion. I mean, obviously, we're going to get them all eventually, but I think this one's more useful in the short term. Ah, oh, sweet precious Camos. Hello, my friend. Thank you. Of course, they're, they're going to be the ones to lead the... Uh, I don't really know what a crafting outpost can do for us, but that's what we're going to set them up to be. What about you? How long are you taking? Oh, Brilliant. Well done. Okay, 1.7%. We're almost there. Oh, yes, I could have built water wheels with all of that wood that I just went and collected. Alternatively, I could spruce up Anne's throne room, which is looking far better than it looked a couple of days ago. Throw down some, uh, some of those gallery barriers there to keep the peasantry controlled. I thought this could be a more VIP area. We've got some meditation thrones there. Maybe one for Mona. Maybe for the P-Twins. Oh, a tribute collector. Hello. Um, I'll be honest... I don't think I want to give you anything. I think we need that gold for too much decoration for the time being. And we're not exactly desperate to keep climbing the ranks. Still got a lot of foundational building work to do. Oh, shit. Look at that. Mona tried to convert Pierpos away from their idea legend. Pierpos was enthralled. If you remember, they were converted over by one of the random thralls back when they were thralls. Now, I think everybody is white glove and we have no thralls in the colony at all. Um, oh, it's slippery. Slippery must be. Oh, God. Careful there. Hospitality for allies. Um, I could be persuaded. The outlanders won't do any work. You want me to guard six outlanders for six days? Ah, it's not that bad. Get a silent neuroformer out of it. Not that we're doing bad in terms of, like, silence. Oh my god, she's got another point to spend. Um, yeah, word of offering. Although, they're people filled with hemogen. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. Hello there. Then they go ahead and bring their diseases and filth. Slippery, Borrow, Cups, and Camos all have the flu. Brilliant. On the plus side, this is great medical experience for Aloe, who's already there. My god. Surgery. Surgery success chance factor. Ooh, it could be good, though. First aid for medical 10 speed. Honestly, I'm not really bothered about that one because if our sanguifages die, they'll just come back to life eventually, right? Nursing is medical 10 quality, which honestly could be a lot better. Synthesizing, hacking, researching. Um, It's between surgery success chance and then obviously the 10 quality. That will lower infection. But again, who cares if we die of infection? We'll just come back to life. Sure, we've got to take a few days of death rest. We lose the experience. I think I'll go with surgery success chance. If we get some really fancy royal bionic that we end up losing because of a botched surgery. I'm in. I think that's a great idea. Allo, congratulations, my friend. Well, the goal was, of course, to build some crafting area. You remember I said Erebor in the, the Dwarven style and then didn't actually do anything with it because Anne's base kind of took precedent again. But I mean, look, tell me this hasn't worked perfectly. She spent the whole episode looking across this glorious throne room, just sat in the throne watching other people do work for her. 
She's come a long way in these past few days. Now, sadly, we're going to have to take attention away from that again to dig out some guest bedrooms. We're doing nine by nine. That's fine, because I just basically finished this area anyway. I think I'm also going to dispatch a caravan to go get us some... Um, some more steel and some more cloth, preferably. Uh, what do we need for the hemogen network? Let's get that set up now before I forget again. Obviously, we haven't got the resources for it right now, but we can focus on that for a bit. Hemogen. That's... I mean, yeah, that would be quite good. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Again, that might be something for the something for the research area. Oh, I suppose we could put it in the death restroom. That might look quite good. Oh, but there's going to be so many other buildings in here. Don't think it really works. Okay, fine. Well, we'll dig out a new area for this too. Hemogen vats are steel and gold. Hemogen valves are steel and gold. Hemogen pipes are steel and gold. And the hemogen grinder is steel and components. That's really all we need. Just a shitload of steel and gold then. Best social character by a country mile is Toongi. Thank you, Toongi. Let's get you out there then. And you can take all of the animals. Do you want to send anyone else? <sighs> we could potentially carry more stuff. Maybe take some muscle. Who's the muscle of the group? Uh, you know what? Take cups, because cups is a thrall, so that just kind of makes sense, right? Might as well take some stuff to sell. Thrombo horns I don't need. Reinforced barrels I don't need. Eyeball? <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure someone's missing an eye. We don't need slave collars, because we're not going to have any slaves in the colony. We've got a skill trainer for medical just sitting around. I need to sort out this stockpile. My god, it's been a long time coming. And then take some meals and leave. Please leave. Please leave fast. What do you mean? God damn, how hungry are you people? Marriage is on. Another one? Toongi! It's Toongi and- who was Toongi in a relationship with Cups? Cups we need to convert over. Because Cups is- oh my god, that's our- that's our fiancé. I didn't even realize. Cups is just a- a random ideology. To celebrate them, we'll have a conversion ritual when you get back. Maybe, maybe, I'll even let him become a vampire. Although I said you were artistic, so we're gonna put Slippery and Cups in a separate- Oh, in a separate faction, weren't we? Maybe I should put a warrant out on a different type of sanguifage. Oh, and right on cue, we've got more steel anyway. Oh, good. 739 steel, but absolutely no shitting gold. Apparently, also, 73,000 ash. <laughs> Why? What do you do? What do you do with ash? Ash concrete blocks. Oh, that would be fun to build one of the bases out of. Mix ash and uh, cement. That's ash. Concrete, baby! What else have we got here? Ah, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Send glass, nothing, nothing. You got any art? Skulls? Not willing to buy this. Uh, my brother in Christ, you're the one that's trying to sell me that. What do you mean? You can't have a moral objection against skulls when you're the one who has the skulls. Too heavy. Oh! <laughs> you idiot. You absolute fool. Um... Hey, about that wood, though. You want the wood back? Oh, shit, even that's too heavy. You want this barrel? Oh, uh, we will just, we'll just liquidate, liquidate some stock here. Hey, okay, there's a ch change of plan. I've traded the wood for uh, components and advanced components. That's far less weight. We're down to 465. Then I'm going to send half the colony to escort them home. Rim Rims, I've discovered something almost unbelievable. This is, this is some very high tier, very high tech Rimworld strategy. Did you know that instead of uh, establishing outposts or trading for things or doing other convoluted ways to get steel and components, you can mine it. Why hasn't anybody told me about this before? 1500 steel, <laughs> holy hell. Okay, um... A Pazroto could probably survive a couple of days while we travel back and forth. It's not even that far. It's 0 0.7 days. So you know what? Let's let's send him. Send him. Uh, leave Pazroto. He can stay there. Oh, God, then they can't carry it all. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We can, we can make this work. Hold on. There you go, and then you just cross over midway. It's, it's such a short journey. Someone's put a wanted level on Lilu. Lilu, what have you done, you fool? Uh, Warrens, what have you done? Wanted for other. Posted by the scattered sanguifages. Oh, they just want Lilu. Oh, but that's good, though. Oh, no, because the scattered sanguifages won't come and hunt as other factions will take the warrant. That's, very, that's a bit more annoying. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 wait there a second. Wait there. Okay, dump all of this stuff. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> How desperate am I for another 200 or so steel? Kind of kind of very desperate, actually. Yeah. Kind of very desperate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. Send them again. Basroto, stay there. And hopefully this should be it. Please. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, look, let's take that LMG that apparently somebody dropped and left behind. Guess we could put the hemogen vats in the 
kitchen? I, I mean, I'm, I, I've got plenty of space in here and I'm not doing anything else with it, so... Why not? Why not? Why not? There you go. Enjoy. Well, the question is, do we have enough gold to lay enough pipes to connect up the entire network? I'm gonna be honest, probably not. Probably not, because I want to connect up to these bloody drain caskets. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have built them there in hindsight. Okay, well, we've committed now. Not a bloody chance. No, nowhere near. Oh, God. Okay, we'll go out there and we'll caravan and get some gold. I think there was a trade ship, unless I'm going insane. Ah, uh, Tumgi, Tumgi. Oh, they're gone. Ah! Bro, and a blood moon. Oh, good. I think we should be fine, though. Oh, come on. Pack of man-hunting wargs this time. Well, luckily, because I'm so goddamn big brain, I built some embrasures. That's right, episode 27, and I finally put down some defenses. Round of applause, please. We could get the guest to fight. You could get you could get the guest to fight. I won't send the one down called You Die, because I feel like that's, that's just bad karma. Here they come. Here they come. Okay, squad, move over here a little bit. Let's try and maximize firepower on the warg. That would be quite nice. And then where, where's my other melee character? Come on, hurry it up. Shit. No! <laughs> fucking lassoes. Every time, every time I regret using them. Actually, we should be fine. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna be absolutely fine. Man, that was so big brain to build that embrasure there. Great work. I think it's over. Fantastic. See, using my enormous brain, I realized that the hemogen vats use gold. So I took apart a hemogen vat, and now we, we still don't have enough gold. We're still lacking 10 pipes exactly. So if I hadn't built that hemogen vat in the first place, we'd be fine. We'd be totally fine. My God, great timing. They can finally leave. Oh, man, everything works out today. Not a single thing went wrong. I'm not sure what's happened. Goodbye, and I will happily take another Silink. Neuroformer. You see, Anne is becoming an even better hemosage, even though she's in she's in death rest. And in fact, oh, that would be a good use of a point. What do you think? She gets psi focus when she's in death rest, but she's already got more psi focus than we're spending right now, of course. When I upgrade her base stats, that's going to be a different story. I think we're fine. I think we need to get some abilities before we need to worry about not having enough psi focus for her. And the Imperial deserters, the same ones that came here to kill our main stars, Anne and Mona, convinced that we are benevolent and glorious, enthralled. And now, they're gonna run our crafting settlement. I don't even know if there is a crafting settlement, but you know, we'll see what we can find. They can always make something else. What about this one? Oh, production outpost is that. Oh, they can make components. Oh, sick. Yeah, that's really handy. They can make 29 components every four days, 13 hours. Good God. Holy shit, that is a massive gain. Oh, I feel like it's all coming together. I feel, look at this little empire we've got going. This is great. Now for today's episode, I have one last final quest. And on the subject of components, if we are able to get six more advanced components, we can craft ourselves a grand projector throne. We have advanced fabrication, of course, but we have a slight problem of no gold. So I think we're gonna start a caravan together. We're gonna go out there. We could go back to Grace's Gorge, but we've just traded with them. So I guess we go around the lakes. Is it much more of a journey? 2.8 days, 1.6 days. Yeah, it is much longer, but it's necessary because we haven't really got anywhere else to go. 1.4 days total with all the pack animals. So actually, it's still pretty bloody far. Old cloth, advanced components. It's a very simple shopping list. Please don't let me down here. Gold, 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 gold. Yes. Oil paintings. I don't think I've bought enough silver for all of this, but hey, we'll take it. Uh, you know what? I'll take a telescope as well. Oh, look, if we buy some plasteel and some steel as a safety net, we can just craft our own advanced components, right? It's about 100 plasteel, 200 steel. We don't really need the steel, I will admit. Um, that seems good. That seems fine. Oh, a bog goods trader. That was coincidental. Let's bloody hope you haven't got any gold. Otherwise, I'm quite annoyed. I said, oh, cloth. Thank you. Tomb gear across the whole damn planet. An assortment of various animal hides for a shitload more cloth. That seems good. I don't think I want anything else. Thank you. More carpets for Anne. What the hell are you people doing? And now we've got an exotic goods trader. Um, that's not the same one. I feel like I'm going mad. We've had no traders for like weeks and now we've got shitloads. <laughs> more advanced components. I might just take them. We don't need all this leather. Oh, what else you got for me? Ooh! Gasta Kavata Kavakis, my favorite slowed book. Legendary behavior. Oh, 
That's so good. I'm so happy with that. Give me that fucking gold. Give me that fucking television. Do you want some artistic carvings? Oh, shit. That's expensive. Insect jelly? I might have got my hopes up too soon. Okay, okay. Maybe I don't need the mega screen television. Maybe I don't need the circadian half cycle. In fact, they're crap. I don't know why I wanted that anyway. This is fine. I can afford it now. I can afford it. Yeah, send me some more plasteel, though. That seems good. And boom. Oh, my God. We got the fancy book for Anne. Deliver it to my stockpile. Anne's awake. She's just finished death resting. Anne, my friend, it's necromancy time. Read. No, no, no. Read Ngasta Kavata Kavakis. Go, my friend. Go, my friend. She's about to become a necromancer. And boom. And Green has finished reading in Vasta Kavata Kavakis, though the tome appears to have crumbled to dust. Zero out of five necromantic thralls. This is the best day of my human life. Now we read the thrall limit book, which in theory will increase our thrall limit. No further questions, Your Honor. From five to six. That makes perfect sense. How do we even get necromantic? Oh, is this this thing? Create thrall. Puppeteer a fresh corpse, turning it into a thrall. Thralls feel no emotion, have no needs. The connection will be severed if the controlling necromancer is killed. She can just keep six permanent people. This is the greatest moment of Anne's whole life. Four, Anne was very happy to get her, her hands dirty. She'd go out there into the world. She'd strangle monsters with her bare hands. She'd fist fight anybody who tried to stop her. Now, she has other people to fist fight people for her, but she's still very, very powerful. This is a lovely character development for Anne. Anne! Why are you firing a gun in your throne room? Who let this rabbit in? She's gone mad with power. <laughs> now, my friends, we are at the precipice of greatness. And now, my friends, it finally occurs. Such a tremendous use of resources for pure vanity. But my god. Yes, masterwork. Oh, masterwork is what we like to see. Oh! <laughs> Set owner. You know, I think it'll be Anne. Now that you mention it, and we got a slight refund from the other projector throne. Oh, we've got to have a look at some of the stars. I, I want to reinstall it this way around so we can see the actual projection slightly. It, it feels much more grand from the side. My God, look at it. Holy shit. What do we want the projection to be for little sweet Anne? We've got a big man in a suit. We've got that spooky looking thing. A big insect queen. Uh, there's the there's the comedic style. A horrible Cthulhu man. A devil. That's quite cool. Uh, Aztec, I presume that's supposed to be. And then we've got a kind of East Asian. A spooky guy with skulls on his head. Man, that one's pretty good. The necromancer. I like that one. Mushrooms. Oh, I just don't know. I just don't know. They're all so good. I might, honestly, out of all of them, I think the necromancer suits her best. Let's slap it down. Let's slap it down. I, I, I could almost be persuaded to redesign the entire throne room so that we can see the throne from the side. Oh, but it's still pretty cool, though, isn't it? I think that was a resource as well spent. My God, legendary work. What is it? Cops has created a legendary skeleton statue. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Skeletal. Obviously, we've got to get rid of all of these other crappy random statues. The the armor set, that does kind of work. I like that one. I think that one's fine. This one, too, I think is, is acceptable. But some of them don't really make any sense. Like, this one's just a naked lady. So I'm going to put that... I'll just find somewhere for that. It's fine. Oh, my God. It's actually working. And the Humogen network is working, too. Look, the fungus are in. They are being ground up for their minor hemogen content. And they're getting added to the vats. I think I've done it. I think I've actually done it. I, I think I'm through the looking glass here. Look at Anne's castle. It looks incredible. We've got the hemogen network online. And more importantly, look at Hemosage Anne. She is getting there. And she can summon necromantic thralls. This might be the best day in this entire series. Everything has come so far today. Tomorrow, the focus is the crafting base. And we're going to put out a warrant on getting a new type of sanguifage, whichever is maybe more suited to crafting or more suited to staying underground for long periods of time. They'll be the ones put in charge of, of the crafting section. Now that we have a throne room worthy of Anne, I think I'm happy to start pursuing the Empire stuff. I think now is finally the time that we start working on it. Amazing. Superb. And more importantly, I think we need some more of this projector stuff. We'll start work on that tomorrow. Maybe when we've got a bit more of a consistent resource influx. We're not exactly struggling for resources anymore. But I've spent 
shit loads of silver and we're gonna need a lot of plastic a lot of advanced components to make this happen so stay tuned I'm happy with it. I think this has worked really well. Thank you to David Turner, Muta Bullis, Tempest, Nix Valoria, Heroic Cat, Zaffy Poo, Iron Bull, Pika Pyre, Grant the Hero, Ethox, Nexus, Salaroth, Thomas Law, Chief Chair, Pump Action, Shotty, Pang Power, Ryan Koenig, Zonny the Beard, Sajuk1986, and Brandon with Toniak for their support of the executive producer tiers on Patreon. Thank you. We're finally through the looking glass, and I finally feel like this base is worthy of an. Took a lot of effort. A lot of caravanning today. Thank you as well to Runar, Dread94, Evan Stockdale, Robotamus, L Loxris, Shackleberry, Audrey, Hershenson, Ineffective Gravara. I am an idiot. MW, Offensively Canadian. I am Nick the Good. Caden Doyle, Jamma212, El Chalupa Cabra, Cooley, and Reef Topia. See you all very soon.